Hello and welcome to this video on how to import multiple Excel files containing multiple sheets into one Excel table. When I show users in my training how to import multiple files from a folder, a common question is, what if there were multiple sheets in there? So this video will answer that question. This is our scenario. I have this folder called data, which is saved on my desktop, and it contains these four Excel workbooks with some data about some training. Let's have a look at what these workbooks look like on the inside. This is one of them. At the moment, it's showing the data for the London venue, and we have some courses, some dates, and how many delegates attended that course. At the bottom, you can see there are six sheets, and every single workbook has these six sheets, but we are only interested in four of them. We want London, Birmingham, York and Reading, the four venues of training. We do not need what is on those other sheets. If I clicked on the summary sheet, we just have this, a little formula, nothing we need. And the lists sheet looks like this, where we have a list of the different courses being offered and that is formatted as a table. And I wanted us to see this because we're going to see it in Power Query shortly when we import it. But we want to make sure we exclude that from our import. Now, these files are available for you to download in the description of this video. So please do so, so that you can follow along with this tutorial. Okay, so we have this blank Excel workbook. Let's go and get our data. It's data tab, get data from file, from folder. This will prompt us for the folder path. And I can click this browse button to navigate to it. And here it is, data on my desktop. If I click OK, the path is entered into the box provided and OK again will connect to that source and lists its contents. And here are the Excel workbooks, which we already knew was going to be shown. At the bottom, we will click Transform Data to open the Power Query Editor. And this is where the excitement really builds. We can see our Excel workbooks, but we want to be able to dive inside them and get those four sheets that we need. At this point, we could exclude any files that we're not interested in, but we want all of them in this example. There are, however, some columns that we're not interested in. So if I select the content column and also the name column, right click and remove other columns. I don't need anything else. Now to extract the data inside those workbooks, we are going to write a custom column. So let's click on the add column tab, custom column. So it opens up a window for us to build our formula. Now, first of all, we need to give it a name. I'm going to name it get sheets. And then we get to write our formula. We are going to enter excel.workbook, open bracket, and reference the content column. So I'll type that in there inside square brackets. I will also type a comma and enter true to use headers. Close bracket. A quick glance below shows that no syntax errors have been detected. That's a good sign. Let's click on OK and see what we get. And we have this new column with tables. 
and a button above to expand that column. Let's click on that and we're going to extract all of this data. I'll click OK and here we go. Lots of columns of information. The most notable thing being that we can see all the sheets and the tables inside each of those workbooks. Now we're not going to keep all of these columns, but I wanted to see them. Now we need to exclude the sheets and the tables that we're not interested in using in our ultimate Excel table. So let's start by going to the column named getsheets.kind, the kind column. And from the filter, I'll exclude the table and click OK. So that is the table with the list of courses. That excludes that. Coming to the item column, getsheets.item, we also want filters to exclude the list sheet. Now that is the sheet that had the course list table on it. But even though we've removed the table, we still have to remove the sheet. Now I could have removed all three of these things from this one column, but I wanted to demonstrate removing the table from the kind column, because maybe in your scenario, that's what you need to do. Now I'm also going to uncheck summary because we don't want that. Click OK. This leaves us with our four worksheets, Birmingham, London, Reading and York. All that remains is to remove any columns that we're not interested in and expand these sheets to get to the data inside them. So I'm going to remove the content column. I don't need the name of the workbook because we have the date inside the sheets. So I don't need any information that's in the workbook name. I'm also going to get rid of the item column because I have that information in the get sheets name column. I'll get rid of the kind and hidden right click remove columns. That leaves us with the venue name and the data inside it. Let's click the button to combine. Remove the original column name as prefix. And I want all three columns from the sheets. Click OK. And here we go. We have the venue name, the course, the date, the number of delegates, and all the data from those four sheets of all four files. We can see at the bottom 924 rows were returned. Just to add that little bit of polish to finish this off, Let's rename that first column as venue and then do our data types. So that first one is text, course is text, date is obviously date and number of delegates is a whole number. We can now close and load this home, close and load list, close and load two. I'm going to load it as a table to the existing worksheet. And that is data from multiple Excel files containing multiple sheets. Just to finish this off, we could then throw that table into a pivot table. Let's put this on the same worksheet. Just to add the cherry on top of this video. And what should we do? Let's put the venue into rows, the number of delegates in values and maybe course in values as well. So yes, the pivot table can certainly be improved, but as quick as that, I can see the number of courses run and how many delegates trained across each of the four venues from all those files. I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to this YouTube channel to receive the latest Excel tutorials.